Well, uh, right. you pull? Um, <laughs> I'm pulling now. Uh, that's rolling now. I was just having a look over your glossary stuff. Because at some point, um, just talking it over with Bulto, um, I was thinking of actually making engraved examples for the glossary because it would be much simpler rather than make elaborate word descriptions, just give terse engraved examples. Oh, well, we yes. could do both because the glossary would be a couple, probably a couple of pages. So it would, we would have um, a page with descriptions and examples, visual examples, of course. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's easy. In theory, you can typeset books in Lillipond. There's no obstacle to that. It's just yes. sort of not what it's designed for. Yes, but I'd rather we have we we have all the content of the glossary determined before we start writing. Mm -hmm. So as we as we go revising, it keeps going. Um, it keeps adding to the glossary. Anything you want to add to the glossary, just write it write it in the text file. Well, we can develop those in parallel. There's no reason why we can't. Um, also start. What the fuck is that, Miguel? That is a custom key signature. I've I've made some of those. They're fun. No, it's that not is a actually nightmare. a customer. That is actually um, the one that follows For the C clarinet. flat. Uh, no, it, actually I transposed and this is what happened. But the this fuck? is the this is the actual uh, key signature for uh, B double flat major. What? Uh, no, actually, actually it's not. It's for for uh, F flat major. That's that's what it is. F flat. Why? F flat, F flat major. Because is that's what e. transposition generated. Because the, the other mean... one is uh, in C, uh, C flat major. This, this is this actually fuck. doesn't make much much sense. But anyway, no. I I admittedly have made like non-diatonic scales using arbitrary key signatures that contain one, sharps two, and three, flats, four, but five, this six, is... Seven. Yeah, it should be... Uh, I'm lost now. Are we now. recording or well, not? We are. This should, be a diat okay. this should be a diatonic scale if you've generated it from transposition, but um, in Nillipond you can define arbitrary key is, signatures. But this is... This, this was actually um, a D flat minor, that's what, what ended up being. D flat minor. So in D flat minor, you have... Everything is flat, and B is a double flat. That's what happens. I think Verdi used uh, this key a lot. He just didn't write the, the key signature. But no, uh, I think that was the insane. joke, that a lot of his operas end up in D flat minor. At some point. So I'm going to transpose this to C sharp. Ah. So that's better. So C sharp minor is a bit on the on the softer side for reading anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know. Like at least in my concert band, anyone that is expected to read more than about four flats starts to scream. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but because well, um, we all read in different transpositions. In fact, I am actually in a minority of concert pitch instruments. Um, yes, we play. We play something as simple as, uh, oh, just, you know, B major. That's yeah. not a, that's not a Five key. Would, yeah. <laughs> what is this nightmare? Uh, this is something that I, <clears throat> because later on this uh, modulates to G minor, right? Uh, I forgot that I had to transpose both uh, sections differently. So this is the key signature for E sharp minor, in case you're interested. Ah, uh, that's F. That's F. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But uh, so in I have to transpose both. No, I'm both. not interested. I'm not interested. Uh, so now I'm going to transpose both separately to avoid mistakes. I I. Uh, what transposition is this? So what? Is what transposition is? Oh, for the planet, so it's a tone. Uh, I, I didn't understand the, the question. Sorry, I didn't hear you. What transposition is it? But if it's for clarinets, it's a tone. Yeah, it's the it's the clarinet. Yeah. Okay. So I transposed everything by a tone, but then the first one would <clears throat> go from E flat minor to <clears throat> D flat minor, and hence the first uh, key signature I showed you. And now I was transposing not a whole tone, 
but actually a diminished third and that's what ended up being this next one so now i'm doing a different transposition for both parts are you transposing by fresco baldi macro or by changing the pitch basis for the entire relative section and letting lily pond work it out i'm working with uh fresco baldi okay uh, how would i do it any other way um, I was on the understanding that if you change the pitch basis to any note other than Do, it should shift, oh. that being it's the point uh, of it. Uh, because... The, you know, what, the, the relative Yes, thing? the relative pitch uh, no, no, basis. No, no, the relative only uh, indicates where you start. That's my understanding. You do have a function called transposition in Lily Pond. Okay. Which you, you can uh, do the same thing that Fresco Bali does, but inside Lily Pond. Well, what this gives me is a lot of B sharps, so I don't know if I want to keep them or not. And uh, um, a good, double sharps. They're good stuff. physical attackers. Their defense is sort of their defense <laughs> is pretty good. Their special attacks not so great. Um, they're not very popular in the meta game, I hear. <laughs> All right. B sharp is a Pokemon. What? Oh, wait, what? I'm B sharp is. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, it is. Gentlemen, <laughs> be <laughs> sharp as a Pokemon. <laughs> have you been living under a rock since Gen 2? Yes, I haven't touched Pokemon since Generation 2. So B sharp is indeed. Well, it's a, I, I think it's, it's, it's probably pronounced by sharp, but yes. Um. It evolves from Pawniard starting at level 52. I already, I'm already going to, I already know what I'm going to name this section of the recording. <laughs> Quite sharp. Sounds like we a have plenty of uh, double sharps. So I don't know, I'm going to... Cafe Dream just... is, has six flats, right? Or five, seven. Yeah, Four yeah. concert six pit flats. readers. Exactly, um, because there were a lot of uh, flats or sharps or whatever, uh, six flats, yeah. There were a lot of uh, accidents and um, <laughs> Lots I just of decided... Lots of accidentals. Yes. <laughs> Ac <laughs> accidentals, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, in Portuguese it's accidents, so <laughs> sorry. Uh, and uh, I decided to, to add a key signature so I wouldn't have yeah. to write all those flats, you know. So Lily Pond wouldn't have to write all those plays. You call them so, accidents. Do you, with the same word you would use to mean, I don't know, getting hit by a car? Exactly. Yes. 